Welcome to Part 23, my report on the McCarrick Report by Patrick Parson. As we continue Chapter 8 of the McCarrick Report, titled Tenure as Archbishop of Newark, 1986-2000, to we finally leave the direct topic of the Archbishop's numerous travels and take a look at gift-giving and fundraising starting on page 59 of the report. The Banco Ambrosiano collapsed in the early 1980s, which created financial and legal problems for the church. This collapse and its effects would be worthy of a special study in itself, but the McCarrick Report does not discuss it, making only a reference to it as background to McCarrick's involvement in helping to create the Papal Foundation in the late 1980s. The Institute for the Works of Religion, commonly called the Vatican Bank, was the main shareholder in Banco Ambrosiano. After the, church, after the bank failure, the church wound up with a damaged reputation and huge financial liability. And now McCarrick enters the picture as a superhero. McCarrick, McCarrick used his extensive experience of soliciting money from wealthy Catholic donors in the United States to raise funding for charitable initiatives recommended by the Holy See. This eventually led to the creation of the Papal Foundation, a non-profit corporation that was intended to provide the transparency, accountability, and deductibility demanded by sophisticated American donors. Recognized as an integral driving force in the Papal Foundation, McCarrick, who often visited the Vatican on behalf of the Foundation, was specifically recognized by Pope John Paul II for his many efforts in establishing and helping lead the Papal Foundation. Also during this time, McCarrick began in earnest his customary gift-giving to Roman Curia and Nunciature officials, a practice that continued for almost 30 years until 2017. He also sent donations and gifts to prelates, dioceses, and charities throughout the world, particularly focusing on building projects and disaster relief. Specific gifts or amounts are generally not given in the McCarrick Report. The report does give McCarrick's explanation of his rationale for the gift-giving to Roman Curia officials. He actually stated, You know, since they don't have a diocese and they are working in government, they are not in the same position to collect money. But they are priests, and they have the same calls on them as other priests to help people. They work hard and do not get a big salary, and so giving them money allows them to do charity with others that they otherwise would not be able to do. It is a recognition of their services. Now another footnote shows McCarrick saying, I remember the Cardinal for the Congregation for Bishops came for about a week at Matuchen, and I am sure I gave him something substantial to, to defray the costs of the trip, and that I gave something for the Congregation to help the Holy See. I find it unfortunate that no indication is given as to the definition of substantial. And finally, a footnote on page 60 says McCarrick's gifts and donations 
were made from diocesan or personal accounts and very specifically makes clear that neither McCarrick nor the Papal Foundation nor the Diocese of Metuchen nor the Archdiocese of Newark nor the Archdiocese of Washington ever held an account at the Institute for the Works of Religion or Vatican Bank. So, according to the report, McCarrick got all his gift money from some other source. So, what do we gather from today's segment? Obviously, McCarrick was continually building up a network of friends and supporters, going all the way up to the Pope himself. I suspect it would be difficult for McCarrick's gift recipients to think he was anything but a great guy. And I promise we will finally reach McCarrick's activities in his actual Diocese of Newark in the next segment. He apparently does have time to serve there despite his many outside activities. But until then, let us finish today's segment with the Fatima prayer. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy.